look at it from this angle okay check um have you ever helped somebody so much and they still stab you in the back and when you think about it properly you will see that you were always helping them the most or maybe for that matter, they never helped you for once. But they still stabbed you in the back. But if you are fortunate enough, you find that in the future, that same person, when they are uh, suffering, they are in need, they come back. Have you ever seen such? Now, I want you to get something. If you were to sit down and check who was more beneficial, you would see that you were more beneficial to that person you were helping than they were adding into you the only thing you if you are to think deeper you will be remaining with it will be the heartbreak of being feeling betrayed over someone that you have helped in so many ways ways right but if you are to check what are you to miss out you will see that but it's not like this person was adding any value in fact that they were like a parasite unto me and listen in that way you are able to see the truth. And the truth is, there are some people that when you enter their life, to them, you are a blessing. But to you, you can't say whether they are a blessing because it's one of those, who knows, maybe they can come in Hindu one day, you know, no man is an island type of thing, if you know what I mean. So now let's just flip the script, right? Back to you. It means also in your life, don't neglect that you have people that when they are in your life, they are a blessing to you, not you to them yet. Meaning, don't ignore things that can tempt you to throw them away. Almost like they say, they would say when I'm growing up, there's a saying that goes like, don't throw stones at the bakery. And that means that one tomorrow you will need to buy bread and you won't get it because you threw stones you starve don't burn a bridge we all know this saying right because you need it to cross over what i'm saying to you is that the enemy of your life is in a process of making you cut ties with people who are your destiny helpers hence i'm saying beware before you can be short-tempered and tell people you don't care tell people that you even if there is something minor and upset you learn to be humble the angel of the lord went told hagar to go back to her master or her maid uh and submit herself referring to sarah to submit to and to be humble listen i pray that none of you watching here none of you will burn a bridge whoever the enemy wants to give you the spirit of pride to cut off people who are, who are going to help you in life and take you far. May that not happen. May the God give you the grace to endure, to walk, to operate until you get where God wants you to be. In Jesus' name, amen. And of course, you can also book an appointment with me. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.